Hello and welcome back to Guilty Party. In the last episode, we uh, found out that the teacher, Miss Wigwam, uh, stole Hugh the manatee, and now we're heading off to a cruise. But before we do that, um, we're going to switch characters again. <laughs> because I, I, I would like to, you know, show off a few other the char- sh- show off a few other characters. Ugh, I can't speak for this part either, so... You unlocked a new level, the aquarium, the train. Now you've unlocked the ship. But anyway, we are going back to the story mode on one player, and now we're going to be playing as Max. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we got the ship now. Yeah, we're going to use this. That should do it. Yep. <laughs> So, off to a cruise. What's Kid Riddle doing with the uh, the telescope in that uh, image? Anyway, moving on. Do I know you? I'm Captain Sherman. Welcome to the SS Stupendous. And I am the infamous Kid Riddle. I warn you, Captain. Do not ask me to divulge my secret identity for all. Uh, Captain, we're actually on important business here. We're tracking a missing person. And a criminal mastermind. And a missing manatee. Well, let me put your minds at ease. We have absolutely none of that on board. This ship is about fun, relaxation, and good old-fashioned nautical hijinks. Do you have a ballroom? No. A rock climbing wall? No. Pilates studio? No. Is there anything else you don't have? Funny you should ask. The anchor seems to have disappeared. Couldn't stop the ship if I tried. Oh, is that all? Steering wheel's gone too. <laughs> How are you steering the ship? I'm not. How can you prevent it from running aground? I can't. Doesn't that bother you? Bother me? I'm on a cruise. Well, that's reassuring. I'm gonna sound like my dad, but like, I wouldn't want to be on a cruise. Who would even want that? Nobody would. Unless you were decorating something. Good gravy! Some hooligan has stolen the cruise ship wheel and anchor. You need to build a watertight case, and I'm loving these puns way too much. So we got Max now. So we solved two crimes with, uh... I'll solve this case or I'll eat my hat. He'll eat his hat. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Let's move into room after room after room. Investigate the printer and we'll, we're planting bugs again on the printer. Oh, colors. There it is. Okay, purple. This one. There we go. Uh, purple. This guy. What? This one. There it is. There we go. All right. Here we go. Not bad for an empty stomach. The printout on from the ship's computer reads autopilot system engaged, 3.30 p.m. The ship's wheel may have, may now be serviced. So what, 3.30 the wheel was stolen? Okay. And up here? That might be you found a screwdriver. A screwdriver and screws are on the floor where the ship's wheel was stolen. Okay. No fingerprints on the wheel, though? Communications room. Oh, look what the cat dragged in. Columnist. I ride for USA Today. I you might be able to convince me to say more. Um, no, we're just gonna stare at you. Stop looking at me. Stop it! Jeez. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just so enamored by your... 1960s-looking glasses and, uh... <laughs> weird style. A man on the PA announced that there would be cheese fries in the restaurant from 3 to 4 p.m. We all dashed down there, but... Someone locked us in, and we had eaten all the fries. And he had eaten all the fries. That monster. She really loves cheese fries? Oh, probably should have... A man on the PA system. Okay. Ooh, is the guilty party? I mean, we can't really confirm that just yet, so. Let's dig in. Light switch. Um. T -t -t -t. We're 
we're just gonna go over here over there over there send the word send the word over there hey, hey dude hey dude first things first bro show me your stuff <laughs> if that was in a pitch black room that would sound so fucking creepy Don't look at me. I'm not strong enough to lift the ship's wheel or anchor. Besides, who would want that junk? <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Solve the puzzle. How about this? Like a glove. Right here. Try this like a glove. Like a glove. Right here. This one like a glove. There we go. All right, let's eat. Let's eat. That's what I <laughs> I'm not hungry right now, actually. I might be, though, in uh, about two hours. <laughs> the note reads, there's a rock music show you'll like on the, radio, on the ship's radio. It's on from 2 to 4 p.m. Put on some headphones and turn it up loud. Okay, so just a crumpled up note. The guy's just trying to promote his album. Trying to promote his diss track. Okay, not really a diss track. Just trying to promote his album. He's trying to make it up in the world. We're out of tokens. The room is locked. Oh. What, you have something really important to tell me? You gotta pass the test. Oh, God. What is this? What am I now? Shirley the Medium from uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog? It's a good show. An oil well. Yes, that is a price worthy of such fine a gift. Okay, I'm screwing up too. Oh, I got that just in time too. I listened to that rock radio show all afternoon. The guy who gave me the note about it also gave me this hair gel. He said it wasn't for him and I might need it. So he was listening to that. Extra strength hair gel. It reads for keeping long hair neat in high winds and high seas. What's up with this guy giving me so much great information? Fix the gears, okay. Shit. This one. Oh god. There we go. All right. Nice. This clock was hanging right above the doorway. Someone smacked into it, breaking the glass and knocking it down. The hand the hands are stopped at 3.10 p.m. So that means somebody tall. And I think somebody that has short hair. But I'm not quite sure just yet. Um, Where'd you go? Let's go up here. Interest you in a lolly? You look uh, unwell. Hey, uh, <laughs> Doctor Morgan Harvest. He looks like Francis McCreary and from GTA 4. <laughs> just to let me test your reflexes first. Arrange the suspect's memory. Oh, God. Really? Candlelight. 
That was too good. Let me give you a full report. I was locked in the restaurant with everyone else. The columnist, the director, the rocker were all there, except the captain. Someone has to pilot the ship, right? The columnist and director were there, but why would you lie about the rocker were there? Are you, is he hiding something? Is he hiding something important? Oh no. And he steals a card from me. Draw a card. I'll solve this case or I'll eat my hat. He's gonna make me hungry, isn't he? The more he keeps talking about this stuff, the more he's just gonna make me hungry and hungry and hungry and hungry and hungry and hungry and hungry. That's just gonna happen. Oh hey, it's this guy. That's a. I don't. Max is pumping iron. <laughs> pumping iron. Pumping iron. Wow! 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 You can't trust that doctor. He's a liar. The poet actually came through. He actually pulled through. He didn't tell you about that, about the hot air balloon hovering over the ship earlier, did he? Find the tiny clues. <laughs> that was good. You did a good job there. Uh. That should do it. Uh huh. There it is. Uh, da, da, da. Hello. Oh no, please don't. Got it. Uh -huh. There we go. Near the milkshake blender is a gold vial of vanilla extract. Someone must really like vanilla. Okay. Um, you know what? We're gonna bank our coins, cause yeah. Well, why would why would we waste it if somebody's gonna move? Oh no! Please don't lock us in. Oh, he's just gonna put a trap there. Let's dig in. Locksmith, and now we got a Valentine. Uh. A Valentine minigame. Board up the hold breach. Oh god. This is not looking good for us. Please don't. Come on, come on, come on, please. Please hold, hold. Did we get it? Oh no, we didn't get all of it. <laughs> We're not gonna make it, are we? Please, motion controls, hold son for me. <laughs> uh 
you ran out of time, make sure to place the board so the nails aren't o over a hole. Okay, we're, we're trying this again. I'm not screwing this up another time. Yeah. There's two, okay. You see, I should have been smarter and not try to do like the cartoon X over, over the damn thing. I don't know what I was thinking the first time. Wow, that took no time at all because you won the all play. Okay. Um. What are we gonna look at? Uh, doo -doo -doo. let's 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 move up here. <laughs> this guy is just, he just bolts. Well, Hello. I'll just interview you. I tell you Put words in the suspect's mouth, okay. Man, I'm, I, I wish I didn't screw up that. My schnoz. What is it with games I play having Germans in them? I mean, well, I've only played really one on this channel, and that was, uh, and that was, uh, Punch-Out, but, yeah, I don't know why I said that. I overheard someone talking about the pool. He said that the ship's wheel looks sweet in my tour bus, dude. Let's go down in the cargo room. I love Max's picture in the top uh, left-hand corner. He looks so serious. Hello. I could tell you something. We'll remove the disguise. This is a new one, I think. <laughs> the second class cabin doubles as an anchor storage room. That's where it was stolen from. Have you ever tried sleeping on an anchor? <laughs> uh, no, I, I haven't. Um, I think we'll bank a we'll bank a token here. Your turn. I'm ready, willing, and hungry for justice. Give me six tokens. Let's go to the restaurant here. I actually like this cruise ship. I like how it's set up. Even though I said I never would go on a cruise, I I, n I never would. This fancy bib is streaked with melted cheese. Five clues left. We got five tokens. I don't think uh, Francis McCreary over here is gonna cause us much trouble. This booklet is titled How to Lure People into Traps. The first chapel was uh, cheese fries. So somebody did set up the cheese fries thing to... 
clever. <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty good. Anyway, uh, this guy is probably paranoid out of his mind, so if we look at our savvy card. Move your detective and suspect into a room of your choice. We're gonna use this guy. And we're gonna put him into a room with another clue so it'll make it a little faster. I'm so happy I could eat a horse. <laughs> Approaching rendezvous point. Yeah, we're just gonna this better work. I hope it doesn't make him run away out of fear. Okay, he doesn't fear me. Hello. He is paranoid as hell. You want my testimonial? You better work for it. Get the suspect his favorite food. Get him his favorite food. God damn it. <laughs> and we got him. Relax, detective. This is a cruise. Go get yourself a milkshake. I'm sure the wheel and anchor will turn up eventually. In the meantime, the autopilot will keep us safe. He's sure. Enter the detective. He's, he's also paranoid as hell. I didn't think about this guy. <laughs> I think the criminal must be the captain. Who else has easy access to the ship's anchor and wheel? I mean, he does have a good point. As I did get that coin there. I don't want to have to go chasing this guy, though. Left and right. We don't really have much evidence that he's indifferent. Why are you looking away, man? And he's back, okay. Cheese fries make me sick, so I went to examine the engine. I heard someone rummaging through the tool bench, but they left before I could see them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't really have much else. Who is the guilty party? So, guilty party... Uh, there's gotta be more clues. I'll solve this case or I'll eat my hat. Whistle. Use your flashlight. Find the sparkling clues. Let's see. <laughs> the tool bench is full of tools, but the screwdriver is missing. The surface of the bench is cracked and sagging as if somebody heavy sat on it. Hmm. So somebody round. Excellent. You have found all the clues. When you're ready, move to the culprit and accuse him or her. Okay. Um. First off, now to be service, turn it up loud. I said it wasn't for him, but I might need it. Wasn't for him. No, that was that was regarding the No, the doctor's a liar, the rocker. What proves his gender? Oh, uh, second class cabin. Sweet my tour bus, not strong enough. Didn't turn it up loud, okay. Um has easy access, tool bench, someone heavy. I I, I wanna know like
Oh god, I'm I'm blanking now as to A man on the PA. Okay, yeah, maybe it was Vendetta Clamp's testimony that Maybe Vendetta Clamp's uh, uh not testimony, but Yeah, so we're going to use our whistle. Let's use the whistle on the captain here. It's good I think it's him. It's got to be him. <laughs> it is him. <laughs> In route your position. It was you all along. I have nothing more to say. He's indifferent? I hope you brought a lot of clues. Why do you think the guilty party has short hair? wasn't for him. How do you know the guilty party is a man? A military man? A man? Um, it was her testimony. What makes you think the guilty party is wide, brown, thick, and so forth? Thick. <laughs> Somebody heavy sat on it. How do you think the guilty party is tall? You smash... And weak like you. You're talking to Max uh, Dickens, man. He's as big and round as you. You got pretty close, but not close enough. Did you know? Oh, wait, wait, that wasn't it? Why do you think the guilty party has short hair? How do you know the guilty party is a man? A military man? It was this, the man on the PA. What makes you think the guilty party is wide, brown, thick, and so forth? It's this. Why do you think the guilty party is tall? Not puny and weak like you. Oh. I accidentally clicked the wrong one like an idiot. You gotta be kidding me. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I cannot believe you would accuse me while my ship's going down. Are you going down with it, Captain? We know you stole those parts. Well then, plan B. You may not know my secret identity. It's Rudyard, right? You may not know my secret identity, but I think I know yours. General Mish. Yeah, that's right. I'm me. Hey, Rudia. <laughs> Rudar, right? From this ship. I've known Valentine for a long, long time. Valentine asked for some ship parts. I arranged to get him some ship parts. <laughs> I would have done it for free, just for the fun of being evil, but Valentine pays well. Real well. And how did Valentine pay you? Opera tickets! That makes sense. You can't afford that kind of extravagance on a general salary. This particular performance is going to be special. That's what Valentine said in his note. Come see me at the Opera House. We'll see a great soprano. And when the final curtain falls, so does the grand piano. Man sure knows how to party. Plan <laughs> pop. What? He's a very good swimmer. I find his abilities middling at best. Man sure knows how to party. Uh -huh. we, we did fail an accusation, right. but anchors away, drew the culprit, private eye, all for one. Okay, can't touch this. We earned a badge. But anyway, that'll do it for this part. We'll see you in the next part. We're on our way to the opera.